News. 24 hours. News Mississippi. For News Mississippi, I'm Courtney Carter, and this is the Weekly Rundown. Now, new details emerged this week about the police-involved shooting in Tupelo that killed Antoine Schubert. Now, he was actually killed uh, when he was shot by Officer Tyler Cook. Now, initially, the family was saying that he was beaten up by this officer and that he allowed his canine to brutally wound and almost nearly maim him uh, over a routine traffic stop. But Tupelo Mayor Jason Shelton spoke out this week and he said that within 10 minutes, Shumpert had actually tried to resist arrest eight different times in 10 minutes and that it wasn't until he tackled the officer and a fight started that Officer Cook started to fear for his life. He thought that his own gun would be turned against him and then it was at that point that he made the decision to shoot him. Now, attorney Carlos Moore is representing the family and he says that this was just done in cold blood and the family is suing for $35 million, but an investigation does continue. That is just what uh, Mayor Shelton had released to the public this week. Now, you can find that video and uh, Carlo Moore, uh, Carlos Moore's statement on the News Mississippi app. Now, justice for Jessica may be one step closer. A year and a half after Jessica Chambers was found burning alive on the side of the road in Cortland, Quentin Tellis, the man police say is responsible for her murder, is back in Mississippi and he will plead again with these charges on July 15th. Now, he was actually already supposed to enter a plea, but there was a delay there. However, he is scheduled again for July 15th to go before the judge, but not just that. Now, if you remember, he was actually charged with uh, charges connected to a murder, not murder charges in Louisiana. An exchange student there was found dead in her apartment. He had been using her debit card. Now, those charges have been upgraded to murder. So now when he answers to the judge for murder charges here, uh, for the Jessica Chambers case, he will have to go back to Louisiana to face those charges as well. Now, it is not known at this time what Quentin Tellis intends to plea. News Mississippi will follow that. And again, that court date is set for July 15th. You can find the latest on that on the News Mississippi app. And while the Religious Accommodations Act was blocked by the judge, the fight is not over. In fact, Governor Phil Bryant filed yesterday paperwork that puts in the appeal against the judge's decision. He says that U.S. District Judge Carlton Reeves was incorrect uh, when he came to filing the, the block on that law, keeping it from going into effect. He says that this is perfectly constitutional, that there is no way any harm can be, uh, can be proven in this case, and therefore he is asking that that block be lifted. He's appealing that, and while the appeal is in place until a decision is made, he is asking that the law go ahead and be put into effect. Now, of course, nothing has come of this yet. Originally, from the get-go, when the judge blocked this back on June 30th, Governor Bryant said he would appeal. However, Attorney General Jim Hood said he wasn't sure about an appeal because of how costly it would be and where the state's budget stands now and going into the next fiscal year. He didn't know if the cost was fair for the taxpayers. And of course, you can find the statements regarding that on the News Mississippi app. And now another fight, including a state lawmaker this week. A Mississippi senator is in hot water. District 1 Senator Chris Massey was actually involved in an altercation this week. He and his father with two other men. And those men were uh, allegedly beaten with shovels and spit on. And uh, Massey, Senator Massey, was actually charged with felony aggravated assault. Now, for the past four years, uh, Senator Massey has served representing the people in that area. He's from DeSoto County. He's been representing in the Senate. He's actually the chair of the Ethics Committee and vice chair of the Housing Committee. And you can find out what the latest is with that on the News Mississippi app. Now, this weekend, it will be a hot one. You'll want to be careful. But this Sunday, you could see some rain. So if you've got some plans for the weekend, you'll want to keep that umbrella handy just in case come Sunday. And also, you could try some ice cream at the zoo, or you could chill out in Amish Paradise as Weird Al Yankovic will be making a visit here to Mississippi as well. You can get all of that information on the News Mississippi app. And if you don't have that app, you can download it today for Android or iOS. Just search News Mississippi in your app store. For News Mississippi, I'm Courtney Carter, and this is the Weekly Rundown.